my name is Dr. Sean Patel. I am a physician at the Miami Skin and Vein Institute in Coral Gables, Florida. We've decided to put together an informative instructional video uh, regarding Botox injections. And what we're going to do is I'm going to explain Botox and the purpose of its injection. And we're then going to demonstrate it on a patient volunteer. Hopefully our patients as well as possibly other physicians find this video instructional, informative, and helpful. Um, and I guess without any further ado, here we go. So the first injection we're going to do is going to be focused on the glabella or those frown lines. So frown for me. Uh, frown. And you can see these vertical lines. These are the result of corrugator contraction. Frown for me. Don't see much horizontal line, uh, but the horizontal lines that you would see at the nasal bridge are the result of procerus contraction. So usually inject 20 units into the glabellar complex and uh, we're going to start uh, with that injection. So frown for me. So frowning lets me isolate the muscle, relax, so I isolate the procerus and then inject four units into that. Okay, frown for me like you're very mad. All right, isolate the corrugator and then four units into the corrugator. Frown for me. Another four units into the corrugator. Frown for me. And you can see her corrugator relax. Frown for me. You can relax. Another four units. So that's our first 20 units into the glabellar complex. As you can see, you see these little skin wheels, that's just the Botox uh, underneath the skin. Um, not much bleeding, uh, which is uh, usually the norm. We're now going to proceed to the forehead. And I'm going to ask her to raise her eyebrows so everybody can see her forehead uh, rated uh, or wrinkles. Um, and usually my uh, forehead injections are in a V-shaped distribution in a female, which kind of gives them that lateral brow raise that they all love. So raise your eyebrows for me. Two units right here, relax. I always tell them to relax before starting the injection. You want to try to avoid injecting into a contracted muscle. It's just more painful and harder to inject. Raise your eyebrows for me. V-shaped distribution here. Another V, so raise your eyebrows. Complete out that V. Two units, so I've done six units here. Two, two, two. And then I just reassess and make sure we got everything we wanted. Raise your eyebrows for me. I'll do one more injection right here. Just another two units. And one more right here and one unit right here because she does have a relatively high brow. As you can see, she has a little bit of bleeding, which is normal. Um, one of the questions that frequently comes up is how far does uh, Botox uh, spread? And Botox tends to spread two to three centimeters from the point of injection. And so that's why we can spread these injection points out as far as we do and still get the results that we get with regards to the forehead. One point of differentiation between uh, Botox and Dysport is that Dysport, it is said, spreads a little bit further than Botox. In our practice, we predominantly use uh, Botox, and it's just uh, what I, so to say, grew up using, and so I'm comfortable with it, and I like knowing. Uh, how far it spreads and uh, knowing that I'm getting that two to three centimeters. We're going to proceed now to the lateral cantal lines. So remember this is the muscle around the eye, the orbicularis oculi, and when it contracts, smile for me, when it contracts you can see these lateral cantal lines. The typical injection is 12 units on either side, three separate injections on either side. We do kind of adjust these injections based on what we see in the patients. Give me a big smile. Big, big smile. You palpate out the lateral orbital, the orbital rim, and 
I go lateral by about a centimeter to that for my first injection. It's a relatively superficial injection right under the skin, four units. All right. Smile for me. I do another two units. In her case, where she doesn't have too much uh, with regards to lateral canthal lines, uh, I did four units, two units slightly lower, and then I'm going to give her a little bit of a brow raise, which I think she'll appreciate. And all that is is two units right under the tail of the brow and above the orbital rim. We will now move to the other side. We're going to start on this side. Since I have two units, I'm going to go at the tail and inject two units for that brow raise. You can see a little bit of bleeding there, which is not abnormal. I think Angelique can probably attest to the fact that these are relatively pain-free injections. Um, I have one little pointer with regards to that, uh, which I'll tell you in a second. Um, Okay. Big smile for me. Palpate out that orbital rim. And then right under the skin, four units. Perfect. And then as well, another two units level down. Smile for me. Perfect. And that is a standard Botox injection. Um, as you can see, the patient is relatively comfortable. Looks like she has a bunch of mosquito bites, which a little bit of ice and cleaning up her face will resolve. She'll go home, not do any heavy lifting or heavy exercise for four hours, and not have anybody massage her face uh, or kind of sleep on her pillow for one night. And uh, by tomorrow morning, there's uh, nothing, no special instructions. Okay, so that is Botox, and that is Botox injection for the upper face. We've treated Angelique for her horizontal forehead lines, her frown lines, as well as her lateral canthal lines, which are also commonly known as crow's feet. I want to thank Angelique for volunteering for this Botox injection, and I also want to thank all of you for taking the time to watch this video. My name is Dr. Sean Patel, and uh, I work at the Miami Skin and Vein Institute in Coral Gables, Florida. If you want to learn more about Botox or you want to come in for a complimentary consultation, just give us a call or just stop by.